What's up everyone, mga brad, kumusta? So, sa mga nakapanood na, alam nyo naman na kakakuha ko lang nung Rusi SS200 Gamma uh, I think around uh, 10 days, 10 days ago or more than that Almost, almost 2 weeks na rin no? And uh, ito siya ngayon Ayan. So Naisip ko uh, Ibigay yung Kung ano yung mga thoughts or feedback Na meron ako After 2 weeks of using uh, This motorcycle Okay Magsimula muna tayo dun sa mga Nagustuhan ko sa kanya okay. And itong number one na to is really the main reason kung bakit ko binili yung motorcycle na to. Aside from the fact na meron na rin akong Mio. No? So first really okay, is yung looks. Okay. So kung makikita nyo itong motor, motorcyclo na to. It's really a head turner I would say. You know? Although, some people would contest na, <laughs> di ba, Rusi lang yan, or wala akong pakailam sa inyo. Bahala kayo sa buhay nyo. Kung, kung hater kayo ng Rusi, kung minamaliit nyo yung Rusi, bahala na kayo doon. Hindi ko na, hindi ko na, uh, idedepensa, no, yung motorsiklo na to. Pero, basta para sa akin, I really like the looks. I mean, it's something that, um, kumbaga, kung wala kang perang pambili ng Honda CBR, eh, y- meron kang Rusi Gamma SS200, no? So, that's one. That's really the main reason why I purchased this motorcycle, no? Yung itsura niya, okay? Um, actually, other than that, wala na akong ibang dahilan kung bakit ko siya binili. Um, it's not the CC, hindi dahil 200cc siya, hindi dahil ito yung kulay niya, no? Matt black bato or gray na mayroong neon colored stickers or decals but really yun lang no yung yung looks niya wala nang iba and so makikita nyo nandiyan pa yung asa <laughs> may extra pa so malaki talaga yung gulong niya no which is of course kailangan para sa ganitong klaseng motorsiklo no uh, this is the second time na bumili ako ng clutched driven or clutch operated or manual transmission na bike. The first one again is yung na-mention ko nga dun sa first video is yung Kawasaki Rouser. Okay. Now if I'm going to compare this sa Kawasaki Rouser, this is I would say way better. No? Uh, given that mas mura siya sa Rouser. Uh, nung time na kinuha ko yung Rouser, it was around 64,000, no? It was the 135cc LS version. Um, I think that was, uh, I don't know, 5 years ago. Um, and then, ganito yung gulong niya sa likod. Makikita nyo, sobrang lapad din. No? Pero... Word of caution, kung gusto nyo mag-banking-banking at mag-racing-racing sa ganitong klaseng gulong, don't, wag nyo gawin. If it's dry, uh, I've tried it. Medyo may skid talaga, no? May skid talaga sa madulas. And especially kung basa yung daan, talagang kailangan mabagal ka lang. Uh, the, the pipe, as you can see, it's a twin muffler. Uh, the sound itself, okay lang. No? Hindi naman yan kagaya ng mga inline 4 na engines. Pero, it's, kumbaga, it's okay for its size. And, of course, kakaiba. Diba? Wala akong masyadong alam sa motorsiklo. Pero, yun nga, binili ko siya kasi it looks good. It looks really nice. And then, meron din siyang kickstart. And then, nandito yung foot brakes niya. And then, nandito naman yung shifter. Sa tanke, guys, uh, napakalaki ng tanke nito. 
it can house 16 li liters of unleaded gas. Um, tinray ko na rin yung uh, V-power ng shell and unleaded. For me, it doesn't make any difference as compared nung Mio yung pinapakargahan ko ng V-power. Nararamdaman ko may difference sa hatak eh. Pero dito, parang hindi ko masyadong maramdaman. Siguro kasi wala pa siyang change oil. Where I'm still in the break-in period by the way. So after 2 weeks, ito pa lang yung uh, nagre-register sa odometer niya. It's just 305 kilometers. Side mirror, actually. Ayan. Which takes me back again. Dun, dun naman sa mga bagay na hindi ko masyadong trip sa, sa motor na to. No? So, number one talaga is maga, at first, ah, at first, nang, yung hindi mo pa pinapaandar, hindi ko gusto yung ilaw niya. No? Talagang ito, palitin agad eh. Palitin agad to. Sa unang start po ng motor, ang lakas ng buga. Pero, kapag tumagal na, siguro give it 5 minutes, minsan nga wala pa, bigla na lang mamamatay. Ay, I mean, hindi na siya mamamatay, pero hihina. Sobrang hina na kapag sobrang dilim nung pupuntahan mo, wala nang kwenta. Kaya, ito, papapalitan ko kagad yung uh, ilaw niya ng LED na puti para iwas huli din. And then, ah, uh, Aside from the headlight, uh, gusto ko rin palitan itong side mirror. Yung side mirror niya, halos wala kang makita eh. Kasi, ilang beses ko nang in-adjust to ah. Pero talagang ang makikita mo lang, braso mo. So, hindi siya, it's not really that functional, so to speak. Okay. So, yun, yung headlight, that's one. Isa yan sa mga ayaw ko dito sa motor na to Number 2 And then, yung side mirror no? So talagang palitin yan um, Siguro we can also I can also share with you some of the issues Na, na I've, I've encountered um, Upon riding this okay? So for the past 2 weeks Merong mga issues talaga no? Pag kinuha mo siya straight from casa and if you do your research enough, no, you will learn that almost all gamma users or not just gamma but rusi users experience this, no. Um, so number one really is yung stalling ng engine, meaning na mamatay siya. I've experienced this even nung day one palang. I'm on, I'm in traffic. Uh, Magshift ka. And then, biglang mamamatay. So, I was thinking, okay, baka ako may kasalanan. Pero minsan, no, kahit nakapress na ng todo yung, as in, nakapress down yung clutch. And nasa first gear or second gear ka. And you suddenly stop in traffic, namamatay siya. And then, what's, what's really annoying is, kapag in-start mo using the push start button, hindi siya kagad nag start no? It takes a couple of seconds bago gumana ulit. Okay? So, yun yung isa sa mga talagang known issues pagating kay Rusi. Pero, yun nga, sabi nila, once it gets uh, an oil change, and then you, you, you do some tune-ups, uh, nawawala siya. No? Um... I would say during the first few couple of days, yes, very, very evident yung pag-stall niya. Pero kahapon ginamit ko siya, dinala ko siya sa Tagaytay. There have been a number of cases na naman, I think mga 3 to 4 times na namatayan ako. Pero that was in traffic. So yun talaga, kapag nasa, bigla kang, yung umaandar ka din, bigla kang tumigil, traffic or whatever, then it just stops. Um, actually, other than that, and then yung ilaw, yun lang talaga yung medyo, uh, I would say, issues that I have encountered dito sa gamma. 
no? So there, no? Yun yung mga feedback ko so far after using this motorcycle for about 2 weeks now. Um, yesterday, I had ginamit ko siya papuntang Tagaytay uh, from here sa location ko, no? That's about just around 35 kilometers papunta and then pabalik. So, I, I clocked in 70 kilometers in total. Um, the ride was... I, I think what I can say really is I'm having more fun riding uh, this motorcycle, itong Gama, kesa kay Mio. Kasi si Mio, medyo alam mo na kung ano yung kayang ibigay niya. Ni. It's, it's very linear. Kumbaga, walang walang it's not going to surprise you okay of course it's an automatic uh, transmission so talagang piga lang ng piga uh, pero dito kasi uh, sa motor na to no you can play around with it so there uh, overall um, two weeks uh, clocked in uh, 300 plus kilometers after two weeks of using it. Am I happy? Yes, still. Uh, I'm looking forward to just completing the break-in period and then changing the oil. I'm planning to get, siguro I'm planning to use uh, a Repsol uh, oil. And uh, siguro fine-tuning the, the carb. And by the way, pina-adjust ko na rin pala yung clutch. So, medyo mas malalim, mas mababaw, mas mababaw na siya. So, kung makikita nyo, ayan. Ito, wala pa yan eh. So, malambot na siya dyan. So, ang talagang pinakapiga mo na nag-start na dito. Tapos dyan. So, medyo mas naging bearable na naman siya. Pero actually, hindi mo na rin kailangan ipa-adjust eh. Kasi ako galing din ako sa rouser. Yung rouser talaga pumapatay ng kaliwang kamay yun. So, mas mahirap talagang gawin yun. Ah, mas mahirap siyang manihuin. So, there. Uh, I hope you guys like my thoughts, my feedback. Kung hindi naman nagdi-disagree kayo, sige lang, that's fine. You can write it down sa comment section. Kung may mga questions kayo, or if you plan on getting your own rosy uh, SS200, uh, the Gamma, no, the Gamma model, then feel free to write it down sa comment section and I'll do my best na sagutin yung mga questions nyo. Um, then, doon naman sa mga uh, nagpaplano na kung hindi naman Rusi Gamma or if you're planning to get the Yamaha Mio uh, I125, then you can also post your questions or any feedback that you can share. And I'll appreciate it. Um, kung di pa kayo nakasubscribe sa channel ko, mga kapatid, well, you can consider. Pwede kayo mag-subscribe. So, mostly naman, uh, this channel is dedicated to motorcycles and just about everything that I do. No? Uh, pero I make it a point that I always include uh, motorcycles. Uh, kasi, di ba, that, that's one of my passion. So, yun muna tayo. Uh, I'll see you again on my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye.